Welcome to Nice Novia. Ralph Hubert Barger, mostly known as Sonny Barger, the famous founding member of the Hells Angels, who advocated against smoking after his throat cancer diagnosis, has died at the age of 83. Well, I believe that I like to treat people the way I want to be treated. I like to tell the truth. I like to be on time. And I expect everybody else to be. The announcement of Barger's death came on his official Facebook page with a post containing a farewell message written by Barger. If you are reading this message, you'll know that I'm gone. I have asked that this note be posted immediately after my passing. I've lived a long and good life filled with adventure. And I've had the privilege to be part of an amazing club. Barger died of cancer, according to the post, which says he was surrounded by his wife Zawana, and other loved ones. His farewell message also says he died peacefully, and despite his public persona, he valued time with his family and friends the most. He was an American outlaw biker, author, and actor who is a founding member of the Oakland, California chapter of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. Ralph Hubert Barger was born in Modesto, California on October 8, 1938. When Barger was four months old, his mother abandoned the family, leaving him and his older sister Shirley, to be raised by their grandmother and alcoholic father. He was suspended from school several times for fighting with other boys. He dropped out of school in the 10th grade, later worked at a grocery store and enlisted in the army at the age of 16 in 1955, but was given an honorable discharge 14 months later when it was discovered that he had forged his birth certificate in order to be able to join. Barger later joined the Hells Angels which was a small San Francisco club that fizzled before he joined. Him and other bikers picked up the name and started the Oakland Hells Angels, which is now known as the club's most significant charter. He'd go on to become the club's national president in the late 1950s and is credited with helping to build the Hells Angels into an international organization. In the early 1980s, Barger was diagnosed with throat cancer and required the removal of his vocal cords. After he survived that health scare, Barger began to publicly advocate against smoking, tailoring his message with the Hells Angels textbook anti-establishment attitude, want to be a rebel? Don't smoke as the rest of the world. We send our condolences to his family and friends. May his soul rest in peace.